just simply right click on the folder sharing and security I will choose this share this folder on the network Cho choose the name my special allow network users to change my files and th this depends on yourself so if I choose it they would simply just change it and make and save the changes to themselves they would de even delete it so I would choose it this time next time I would not choose it to show you what's the difference click apply click OK let's go to for example client 2 on client 2 I've got Rob and Tom I'll choose Tom and log in uh, while Tom is going to be logged in I'll go to client 3 create, create a folder here with the same specs but call it butter this time um, create a file inside it, wave sound my song we would name it, close it right click on it, sharing and security and share this folder on the network and this time we're not going to tick this allow network user to change my files and click apply to see what happens there and click OK let's go back to client 2 well it was Tom or Bob I don't remember but he's been logged in OK here we are Tom it was Tom OK so simply we go to my computer there should be a link to my network places here we click on my network places and we go to view work group computers and here as you see all of them are here we're right now we're currently on client 2 we go to client 1 we have the folder my special okay so we could easily um, edit this as we want and save the changes or either we could delete it yeah we delete it we could so we have access to do anything what we want on this my special folder let's go back to client we are client 2 let's go to client 3 this time the folder that we didn't have access to do anything on it but just view it okay for example I'm going to change the name of this my song to, to this it doesn't work access is denied what about deleting it delete access is denied so as you saw that was the option that you could choose for it well here as you see um, Tom was able to access let's go back Tom was able to access uh, actually folders that were on client 3 and client 1 and he was known as a guest while he was going to access these kind of folders but the other actual um, authentic authentication pro process that you could use is um, to actually um, authenticate local users as themselves and why is, what is that okay so um, well for the guest authentication everything is finished here um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to make another review again um, guest authentica authentication uh, with the guest authentication every single user user on the network would have access to shared files to the files that you have shared on the network and you cannot actually manage who uh, has access to your um, shared folder and who shouldn't have access to your folder every single user on the network has access to your shared folder with guest authentication okay so what I'm going to do right now revert all the settings that we just set for guests um, including the including deactivating the guest account and actually the policies that we just um, either we add the guest account or remove the guest user account I'm going to revert it back and we're going to show you the local um, user authentication process okay I've actually removed all the settings that we just set for the guest account on every single workstation on the network and before we go and talk about local user authentication um, let's give it a review here and explain it a little bit so you could get a better understanding of what, what is um, going on okay so let's say it again about guest authentication guest authentication when you um, doesn't matter who when whoever creates a folder and shares it on the network every single person Bob Mike Joe Kim Jim Rob 
and whoever else would have access to that folder but when it comes to local user authentication what happens when local when local user authentication is activated every single user on a network wouldn't have would not have access to this folder that someone has shared on a specific workstation what happens is that the only users uh, are going to be having access to this shared folder which have their user account added to that specific workstation meaning that um, if a person wants to have access to this folder that is shared on client 2 for instance Joe wants to have access to this folder Joe user has to be added to the users here on client 2 okay Joe the name Joe with the same password has to be added to the users on client 2 so here the only person that have access to this folder are Bob Mike and Joe but Jim Rob and Kim since they are not added to the users list of this computer they don't have access to this um, specific folder so if you want someone to have access to these folders on your computer you simply add that user with the with their password um, the password that they have on their own computer to your computer and if you don't want them you just don't add them okay so let's go back to our uh, work group and see how do we enable this option and finally how do we configure it okay so the only thing that we are going to do is going to add one of our users for for example we are going to uh, add Joe which is on um, client client 3 we're going to add him to client 2 and see whether he has access to the folders or not before we add him and after we add him okay so let's go to our network work group and let's go to okay first of all we have to activate the local user authentication how do we do that start control panel the same place that we set the policies administrative tools local security policy on every single computer you have to enable this security options this time should be and somewhere in network security network access let me see network access share is remotely name family that everyone allow storage and share sharing oh here it is network access sharing and security model for local accounts let me open this up this as well I lost it again uh, network security uh, network access sharing and security model for local accounts okay double click on it um, here you have two options classic local users authenticate as themselves guest only local users authenticate as guest okay we choose the classic version click apply click OK go to the rest of the systems go to client number two start control panel administrative tools um, local security policy and security options network access here here it is this time was easier apply ok go to client number three go to client number three and control panel administrative tools local security policy and finally access this computer from uh, excuse me security options network access here it is classic version apply and OK and finish and finish OK so one, let's check we are currently on client 3 let's check our users manage my computer right click choose manage we have users of Mary and Melody here and we'll, let's go to let's go to client 2 close it okay let's go to client 2 my computer